on, darlings, run free. Just having a shift around with these calves, going to put them in a new, bigger space. Go on, little one. Well, that was fun. Huh. Welcome to your new home. Till we get some more grass and you'll be out and about. Beautiful. Good morning. Welcome back to another video. Sam Shuck Farming. Every other day life on our hill farm. We're having a good tidy up today. Uh, we're going to take some pens down that we don't need. Already, can you believe it? We have been lambing, what, three weeks? Last couple of days in March we started and we've lambed about 700 in that time. Moved my calves as you saw. They're now in this shed where the sheep and lambs were. But the weather, if it stays like this, bloody grand like, it's great. It makes all the difference, I keep saying, but. So now, oh God, I'm taking these pens down. Do you remember we set them up? We had a little Barney then, didn't we? Uh, pro you probably don't want to see Barneys on, on YouTube. But, uh, I must say, a healthy relationship has arguments. The ones that last have arguments. And we've been together, what, nearly, probably 16 years. He was 15. Just turned 15, just turned 16 I think. I thought 15 was a bit young, but when he turned 16 I thought, yeah. And the reason that uh, drew me to Oliver, I was at a house party, and guy was 17, he was 16. And uh, all the lads were having an arm wrestle, and Oliver beat them all. So that made me want him. Right, taking all these down that we don't need now. take long all down ready to for Oliver to muck out he's just been mucking out where the calves were because they're in here now and I'll just take these to the stack yeah job done in there somewhere <sighs> just fed me calves 
looking mighty fine. Hell have done well. These are them dairy peppers that we bought. Some are a bit younger, obviously. Some are a bit older. But I think they've done really well. I'm really proud of them. But yeah, they're the next generation that will be breeding off when they're a couple of years old. Yeah, chuffed. Just moving some twins into another section. And then all twins are together. Having a bit of a sort up. Beautiful day, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Just sorting the swale, swales off now. Putting them in a different area. So we're getting them in to the yard. Go on, don't be silly. Go on. Should have my dog really. Go on. in what the hell has happened to that one what the heck god knows that is strange some bedding in here and I can bed pens. It's quite a long stuff so a bit better chopped. Oh hello. Are you hiding? Oh zip get it everywhere. She's my honey, my honey, honey. Putting the sides back on today. Yeah. Beautiful tractor. I have decided the panels are going back on my vulture. Oh, yes. Oh, what a gorgeous day. I, can actually, I really want to get my shorts and t-shirts on, but it's just a bit, a little bit nippy. Right, it's about time these were on. I only took them off, well, Oliver took them off, because, ow. in winter it was a bit of a bad starter, so uh, it was easier to get to. The battery panels, the battery terminals to jump start it, so I'm putting them back on. Oh, this is gonna look tidy. I love this tractor.
There we go. Panels back on. Beautiful. So much better now. Oh, I can't wait to polish her for summer. Bit of a touch up needed. Yeah, the worst thing about it is the bonnet. I don't know, it's just that varnish coming off. I really want to respray her, but the bank says no. Oh, the roof wants doing that colour, respraying. There's a few things I want to do, but I can't. Damn it. Well, she's had new lights on this winter. Yeah, give her a good wash off. So we are just looking the singles, Swaledale singles. Uh, they were up on Wild Boar Fell. And they've come down to these pastures to lamb. Looks like the majority of them have lamb. And they have access to a lot of ground up here, pasture ground. Oh God. As you can see, we've gone from one end and we're going across to this end. I'd say a hundred plus acre to go up. And then once they get a bit older, little tail mark. Broad tail swelled ears. No, but there's some texels here, darling. Uh, and then they'll go back up the fell until tipping time, no doubt. having a nice ride around romantic ride it's not often I get up here so yeah all's looking well at the moment Instagram 
and Snapchat asking for advice or um, you know how we started and what we started with and, and how we got on this farm because they're first time farmers too so I thought I'll have a little chat oh, I'll open this gate first stay there boy close the gate thank you it's obviously not being shut bloody walkers why can't they read a sign it's really simple that's uh, cows we took out the ones that are due to calve in May they've just got that pasture there and we're putting a bale out there it's the gateway there is that bad We'll not be able to get through the gateway with a machine, so the uh, feeder's just there by the gate. And they're just up that pasture there. Yeah. It was a bit too uh, noisy in the buggy, so as I was saying, people are wanting to know how we started and what we, how we got this farm. So I'll just do a recap. We got this farm on a 10-year farm business tenancy in 2019 and we're five years in. I worked previously for the landlord for three years before we got this farm, so we had a bit of a leeway there. Um, he didn't want to farm anymore, so he said, do you want to have a go? So we, we took the chance and said, absolutely. So yeah, when we came here, we came with a bike and a trailer that was on finance and we uh, came with a tractor that's on finance and it was a Zeta Proxima I think I'll have to ask Peter on that one I've probably got it wrong and I've asked him already but it was a Zeta that was uh, financed and that was it we had a blue trailer as well a tipping trailer and then we have our we had our Chiviot flock so and then some Swaledales uh, and when we came here the swale, there was so many Swaledales that we had that were hefted to this farm and we uh, rent them in a way so we have to keep replacements for them in all ages when we leave and we built our flock up <coughs> uh, textiles we've bred some of them that you've seen and we've built the Chiviot flock up so we're building up every year so we came with around 300 sheep uh, we rent around two or three hundred four hundred Swaledales uh, and we've built up to about a thousand, eleven hundred, somewhere in there, with replacements like the hogs, give my lambs. And then we progressed as time went on. The first year we came here, we bought, well, we financed the load all. It was the first machine we bought. That should be finished now. And then we went on to buy a tractor for here because Peter used that loader tractor at Dent and we borrowed it as long as we could. We're all in it together, like, but. Uh, it needs a tractor up there for his stock. Um, so that's when we got a Case MXU 110. And it's been absolutely grand. It was a good, good tractor to start with. We just we just grew from then on. Everything's on finance, obviously, because you can't afford to buy them outright. But a lot of them things now are finishing. When we're cropping and whatnot, um, it was difficult with two tractors, yocking on and off. So then we got... The, my Valtra, thinking we need another tractor, you see. So, I think it was the third year in. I think we've had a two years. Two years, that Valtra. Uh, we went to have a look at something a lot less money and not that one. But when we saw it, when I saw it, I thought, crimes, six cylinder. Oh, she's a beaut. I love her. And I managed to persuade Oliver to get it. So, we've got her now. So, we have two tractors here. Um, and then, obviously, Peter, we upgraded the Zeta, so we've all got a tractor in a way, and it's very handy for cropping time. We can all just go with our gear, so Oliver's Puma with the baler. I'm rake woman and wrapper, uh, and Peter's stacking cart and stack, so it does uh, work out well when we've got a bit of land away. It, does, it is very handy. Um, so, yeah, 
It's very difficult. We came with no money and we still have no money. <laughs> but uh, we have grown the stock wise and the machinery wise. We've got everything to be self sufficient and try and do everything ourselves to cut down on, on costs of other people doing it for you. So we have a few meadows here that we crop and uh, we have the land that we rent that we crop as well. So come uh, that time of year, it's very, very exciting and it's, I love it and it's busy. So I'm glad you're watching my videos and if there's anybody that's, you know, wanting advice or any more information, just reach out and I'll uh, explain things best I can. But it's just a case of time and building up and you can't have everything all at once. And we came, all we needed was a bike and trailer and a tractor and you're away like, so that's what we set off with. Yeah. Uh, any questions, let me know.